So to solve this problem, you would substitute negative 5 and negative 2 into the equation and see if both sides were equal to each other. And the second way to solve this problem is just to graph this equation and see the position negative 5 and negative 2 and see if it lies in this line. So doing our first method, which is in my opinion a lot quicker, we have x equals to negative 5 and y equals to negative 2 and we plug it into this equation 7 times negative 2 equals to 2 times negative 5 minus 4 so on the left hand side we have 7 times negative 2 negative 14 and on the right hand side we have 2 times negative 5 which is negative 10 minus 4. So as you can see, both sides equals to negative 14. So this confirms that the x and y position lies on the line. So our second method of solving this problem is to graph this line and look at the position negative 5, negative 2, which would be right here. So for our line, we only need two points to graph it. So let's look at our line when x equals to 0 we have 7y equals to negative 4 when x equals to 0 so we have y equals to negative 4 and 7 that's our y-intercept right around here and let's look when y equals to 0 we have 0 equals to 2x minus 4 so x you take the 4 over, divide by 2, you get x equals to 2. And that's our x-intercept, so here. So if we graph this line, we would get this. And as you can see, the point negative 5, negative 2 also lies on the line. So these are our two methods of solving this problem. I would say use this method in the exam because it's much more quicker to do. And yeah, that, that's your answer.